Well, hello. Hey, Chris. Hey, Langston. How are you guys doing? Hey, who's that in the background? <laughs> who that have a in the background? It's just hey, my girlfriend. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and our dog, um, Sasha, in the background. <laughs> like I thought I had my head low enough where you were. Nah, look at you. Uh, nah, you you go to jail. <laughs> I try. <laughs> First time it's ever happened, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, let me know where you're ready, or we're recording already. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're going. You go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 We, yeah, we in it, baby. <laughs> it sounds good. All right, um, Chris and Langston, how would you two describe your characters on this brand new series we're about to see on March 10th? Um, I would. I would uh, describe Chris as uh, a, a, a fuck boy with a gold hat. <laughs> and a heart of gold. And a heart of gold. Heart of gold. Nice. That is great to hear. How about you, Langston? Uh, I would describe Langston as maybe the most annoying human being who's ever existed on this planet Earth. Uh, but but he means well. He's a well-meaning person to some extent. But boy, is he awful to. To be around and somehow <laughs> still has friends so uh, what a lucky guy <laughs> absolutely since um bus town is only six episodes so far but what we've seen how did you choose the topics you guys wanted to cover in each episode because they were very heavy topics which really opens and broadens the mind of the viewers i think a lot of the creation is langston can definitely speak to this too uh a lot of creation was coming from arguments that we've had about about things uh, or, or like a, a topic where we all, you know, because anytime we bring something up in our group, like we all come from different places about it or or like two of us would think it's one thing and then like, you know what I mean? So we, we just had, we just started writing down all those all those kind of topics and attacking it from there. It, it's kind, And then we also thought, what could get us canceled? And then we wrote <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, every single topic that ended up on the show was driven by an, a genuine argument we've had as a group. And the four of us come from very different perspectives. Uh, we we have very different wants out of most of the things that sort of like happen around us. And so that that feeds the comedy. And we hope that like even if you uh, want to hate some of the characters, you connect inside of the jokes and inside of the the arguments that other characters are making so there's something for everybody in every you know every choice we're making yeah you're right about that between paul and i if you're watching a few episodes and we connect on a few of the episodes and the topics so far which is excellent what was your favorite episode to experience from the two of you Ooh. Mm. I mean, I had I had a I had a blast doing it all, and I know that sounds like a hack answer, but it's it's very real. Um, uh, man, whole episode. Uh, I man, I, I I really like the church episode a lot. Um, it's uh, one hundred and five was just like it was. I don't, everybody just everybody's bits were on fire. Like the energy was great. Like we were in and when we were shooting it, it was like in the in the shoot where we had just been going for a few weeks. Everybody was back and like together and. It was yeah, it was just like a great fun, and then and then like and then like we had a crowd because we had the church folks, so all the we could see we could hear all the jokes working, which was great too. Like because sometimes when you're shooting, you don't really know, you know what I mean, unless your friends are like, yeah, yeah. yo, that that works or that was whack. But when you have a a, a room full of church folks uh, laughing after after you hear a cut, you're like, okay, we're doing some good shit here, you know? Yeah, <laughs> no, the the church people reacting, I think, did something that uh, no other episode could do. Um, I I would say that that for me, 104 still mm -hmm. is is the episode that really like gets me excited, just because it it was an opportunity for. For us to, I, I've said this before, but it was the hardest episode for us to write. And because of that, it felt like the biggest victory when we finally like nailed it and got to shoot it. And I think that break room scene especially is all of us firing on all cylinders at our finest. Yeah, oh, Absolutely. And, and that episode has some of the best cut stuff. Uh, to, I mean, yeah. this whole show really, we have some, the cut room floor is really fun. 
Yeah, there's an entire musical uh, that got cut from that episode uh, of Chris doing <laughs> doing an ode that I won't give away, but truly we could not keep it and it made no sense, but it, it, was, <laughs> it became more beautiful and Chris nailed it in his performance. Well, make sure if there's a Blu-ray, put it on the Blu-ray or special features. Don't Make nobody sense. buy Blu-ray because you and not like Blu-ray? <laughs> See you guys, Chris, Lexi, thank you so much. There's a dog there too? What the hell is oh, that? Man, be? how many people in that damn room? <laughs> Family affair. Don't have a good one. Uh, Thanks, don't guys. care we're on that Blu-ray, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>